I just read a post on Reaper forums and a user was wondering about how to make a click track that sounds like drums. I know in Reaper you can use their built-in thing to replace samples, but this right here is how I would recommend doing it using a drum module uh, VST plugin that's super lightweight. So what you're going to do first is click on this direct download uh, module here, or you could go to gtgsynth.com, which is the VST creator that I'm going to be using, and if you look at their site, they've got um, a bunch of different... Uh, plugins that are all VSTIs and I'd recommend going through and definitely checking them out uh, when you have some time or if you're uh, into different synths but I really like their drum program so that's the one we're going to be working with today and I have it set here as a direct download so you can click right on that and what we're going to do is click on open I believe this is a Windows only uh, plugin okay and now once we have it open we're going to just make it so we can see these files and we're going to go to computer we're going to navigate to our VST um, plugin folder so for me that's in program files and then I'm going to go to Steinberg and then I'm just going to go into VST plugins and then I'm going to just drag this right into here Okay, it's good to copy on over, and then that's it. You can close both of these windows out. As long as you have Reaper set to see your VST plugins, you should have no problems. It should open up right away. Okay, now in uh, Reaper, to ensure that you're going to be seeing this plugin, if you've never installed the VST plugin before, you're going to go to Options, then Preferences, and then we're going to go to VST under the Plugins area on the left. And we're just going to make sure that C program files, uh, wherever your VSTs are located. If it's not there, you can click add and you can navigate on through. So I went to C program files, scroll down, Steinberg, and then VST plugins. And then it'll add everything inside of that folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and insert. And then we're going to go to VSTi and then select GTG. DPC3. Press OK. It's going to open this plugin up here. And if you click on these, you can go ahead and hear the uh, sounds. Even as a built in reverb setup, you can go ahead and you can um, change the settings around, change the tuning on the snare, whatever you want to get the job done. Now we know it makes sound. So, what we want to do here is we want to add just a MIDI item. So, you go to Insert, New MIDI Item. And it's going to give you four bars of a MIDI item and to edit this to make a drum beat we just double click on it and you gotta find around on the keyboard here where the sounds are so this is the kick here and that's the snare so let's see what we're gonna do um, snare on one and then kick on two three four and then a repeat so let's do snare um, kick whoop. kick kick and to hear this we just want to do a loop play all right so it's getting the job done and let's change the tempo and uh, since it's a MIDI item it's going to automatically track to uh, whatever tempo we change so we change this to you know 98 press enter automatically get to change the tempo of the uh, click track and then also the volume is controlled just like a fader just like normal you don't have to worry about going into the click area and changing this here and this plugin is very low weight I mean like it's using 1% of my CPU power to do this not a lot at all so um, that's uh, that's the basic part. Now, if you want to do like an actual drum beat, you can do that too. And if you want to leave this on loop play, you can keep it going. It'll keep on playing, and you just double click where you want it to go. So start with the hi hat.
All right, let's do a simple boom snap. And the same beat will go and translate through um, whatever tempo you change. You can change it while it's playing and just try to find your tempo. Just type in 120 in the BPM area, press enter. It'll change right away. Go down as low as whatever you want. And of course, in the MIDI area, you can mess with the velocities. Um, so, it's uh, that's how it, that's how it works. You just draw your MIDI notes in here as you go, and just keep on messing with it so it gets to the groove that you want for recording. And that's it. It'll keep on tracking. And um, once you're done writing it, you can close out this MIDI editor and. You can scroll out, go to the edge so you see the little bracket, and you can drag it to as long as you want on your song. You know, just want it to be a click track for a whole five minute song or whatever. Just put it out to there. You can take loop play off now. And then um, by clicking this little button here, take loop play off. And let's go to the beginning and play. And I keep on going for the whole duration of the, uh, of the loop that you pulled out. Thanks for watching. This is tutorials for Reaper.com. I'm Johnny from Red Sneaker Records.